race horses have tattoos in their mouth. Every number is different. Don't no horse have the same number. All, all of them is different. Stand here. Come on, partner. Come on. I ride all crazy horses. You know, the ones that can't nobody handle, they call me. Get on over there. Just walk out, just walk out, just walk out, just walk out. Just walk out, there you go. You see me on the track and see them jumping up, that's me. <laughs> so once I get that speed, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's my drugs, you know? That's my drug. I have to ride a horse every day. Every day. Been in my family for all my life. And since I was three. On Sundays we have family day. And we just everybody get their horses together and we take a ride along the levee line and barbecue and have a big party. There's one big happy family here. It's therapeutic, believe it or not. It's therapeutic for me because being a 21-year Navy veteran stationed with Marines, you see a lot, you experience a lot. It's not like the military teacher, hurry up and wait. No, it's, you gotta understand, that's a horse. And I would say 50% of the time, when I'm rushing and he's slowing down, I'm glad he's slowing me down. My favorite part is when I come to the barn and he's in a stall and I'll open the top gate. And he'll just take that big heavy head and just drop it on my shoulder like, all right, man, I'm, what's happening? How was your day? Two Sundays ago at the Uptown Second Line, I saw a girl on a horse. I found her attractive, honestly. And I was like, where can I get a horse from? She said, my cousin, he actually sat in the horse. So I told her, give him my number and tell him call me. I want to buy the horse. And he actually called me. So once he called me, I said, oh, snap, I got to buy this horse now. And here we are today with the horse, you know? I don't even know how to ride the horse yet. Honestly, I'm the newest cowboy on the block. Brand new cowboy, you know, and, and I was kind of scared because I didn't want to just buy the horse and just be trying to find stuff out on YouTube. But getting the horse and find out that it's actually people who, who's a part of a family, I learned that it's bigger than me. to see him get educated and ride like an experienced horseman. I started coming to this barn and this was right after my husband died. I mean, I've had days where, boy, I just stayed here and swept and sung and cried. And this is where I come for peace.
I'm 61 years old right now. I've been riding horses since I was about maybe five years old. Well, I can say I'm a cowboy because I can handle my horse. I train horses. I've roped cattle. I've broke about 60 horses. Did a lot with my horse. So I can, I can say I'm a cowboy. You don't need a hat to be a cowboy. <laughs> That's right. That's George. No, he's not going nowhere with you. This is the last of them. My great nephew. He'd be riding soon. There's pictures of him on horses. And when we went to get him off, he was like, no, no, don't want to go. Love him, huh? You ready? Come on. You can walk. Let's go see the other hole. I say it's a gift because I don't know how, but I can walk up on any horse and gain their trust like that. I, I can go up to a crazy horse and just start petting them out of nowhere. Horses are just like humans <laughs> to me. Cause you have some horses that's mean and grouchy and all that in the stall, but once you pull them out, they just a soft, <laughs> just like a little dog. Horses keep me out of trouble. Cause I'm always busy at the barn or doing something with a horse. And plus, teach me a little bit of responsibility. Cause if I don't keep up my horse, they get poor and skinny. <laughs> I love horses. Horses are basically my lifestyle. I'm at the barn morning and evening, every day. <laughs> 